Welcome back to another One Chart Lesson. Today we're doing Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. It's a beautiful, simple, elegant guitar riff that every player should know. It looks more complicated than it is because you're going up the neck, but it's based around four chords, and they're four simple open chords if we use our capo on the second fret, which is what Tracy Chapman does. And the chords that this is all based around is C, or RC, G, E minor, D. The riff is using this kind of claw hammer technique. So your thumb is playing the bass note and your two fingers are working the G and the B strings. And the G string is almost always open in this riff, I think. So download your chart and let's get into it. The, the, the riff goes for two bars. So C to G is one bar, E minor to D is another bar. And that two bar building block, if you like, or that riff, pretty much makes up most of the song. Now, how we play this riff is, you can't really do it as easily with the, with the um, pick. So drop your pick, if you're a pick player, get into this because this will be lots of fun to play this way if you're not used to playing this way. It's a really, really useful skill to have. So you're starting with a C chord, but you're lifting your first finger off the B string. So it's a C major seven, really. But pick the a string, third fret, and the open G and B strings together with these two fingers, like that. That's the first quaver or the first half beat of the bar. On the one and, one and, you're hammering your first finger onto the first fret B string to make it into a full C major chord. Then on the second B, you lift your finger off again and play the G and B open strings again. So one and two. Then we move to a G chord, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that you play that third fret of the B string with your third finger. Because, and that's usually the way I like to play a G chord anyway, with those two notes on the third fret B and E strings. Some people prefer to leave that B string open, but for this song, you're gonna to need to fret that third fret of the B string because where you land here is on your third fret E string now with your thumb, and your open G again and your third fret B. So, when you land on there, the last thing you do for this bar is B string, third fret, open G string. So it sounds like this. Okay, that's the first bar. That goes over C, then G. Then it goes to E minor. Now, imagine playing an E minor bar chord up here on the seventh fret. But imagine just playing the note on the A string and the note on the B string, those two, and using, once again, the open G string. That's where we head to next. So the beginning of this second bar of this riff, you play those three strings together, seventh fret E, open G, eighth fret B. Again, still with your finger on the eighth fret, and then come down Imagine playing a D bar chord there, but come down with those two notes from the seventh fret A string down to the fifth fret and from the eighth fret B string down to the seventh fret. So now you're playing five on the A, open G, seven on the B. So, and it doesn't matter whether you use your second or third finger here, whatever's comfortable for you, because it's not a big move, shouldn't be challenging to you really. And then again, to finish that bar, you pick the B string, then the G string. So. That whole riff, I'll play it through twice for you. That little two bar riff starts uh, four times for the intro of this song. On the third time, you'll hear a little variation. It's one of the only times in the song that they use this little variation, she uses this variation. But instead of going, what we do is, in, in triplet feel, one, two, three, four, five, six, you move that eighth fret up to 
the tenth fret, come back down to eight. Then when you go down to the D chord shape, you go seven, eight, seven. So it's like this. If you don't want to do it, it doesn't matter. It just pops up on occasion in this song. So that's your intro, that riff four times through, which is a total of eight bars. Then we move into the verse. Now the verse is the same intro, the same riff played through. If you can't really get it together to, to sing and play that riff together, if that's what you're trying to do, then just play the chords. Meeting in a fast car is a fast enough so we can drive away. So just go through those chords if that's if that works for you. But she's playing that riff all the way through these verses. Now, we start off with three verses. The verse goes for eight bars, just those chords over and over again. C, G, E minor, D. That two bar pattern again, four times. At the end of each verse, she plays that riff twice through. So there's four bars of that riff going at the end of each of these verses. Go first verse, then the riff twice. Second verse, then the riff twice. Third verse, then the riff twice. The fourth verse is a half length, so it's only four bars long. And then the riff twice. Then we move into the chorus. And we land on C. I remember we were driving, driving in my car. G, speed so fast it felt like I was drunk. E minor, city lights laid out before us. And your arm, D, felt nice wrapped around my shoulders. Then C, C, E minor, and D. Feeling I could be someone C, E minor D And then the last bar goes Be someone, C, be someone Back to D And then back into the riff Again, twice Another verse So the fifth verse is that again same deal, eight bar pattern, followed by the riff twice. Then we go straight into a chorus. And the strums through the chorus, you can kind of do pretty much what you want. But eighth down, eighth beat down strums work pretty well there. But it doesn't have to be complicated. You can do single strums. Strum it how you like, that's the chorus, and it's pretty simple. So after that chorus again, we do two more riffs, and then you head back and do another full verse, which is verse six by now, followed by two riffs, followed by another chorus. After that chorus again, we do two more riffs, followed by your half verse again, which is four bars, followed by the ending, which is three of those riffs, right? one on the fourth one rather which is the last one you end on the G end as soon as you hit that G and that's it that's the song it's a beautiful song it's fantastic I've got a lot of time for Tracy Chapman she's just got such a fantastic voice and a, a really beautiful understated way of playing guitar I hope you've enjoyed that let me know how you went with it and see you here again next time <laughs>